everyone all right I'm coming to you from a little bit different location right now because I've been having a hell of a time trying to get this display to show up um, for you guys um, I got in the, the Sigma metalytics um, tester precious metal tester and I actually want to do a little review with you guys and share some things that I found out about it and uh, what I like and don't like about it and do some testing to show you guys how it works so Let's uh, get right into it. First up, what you get for your money, um, you obviously get the tester, and you actually can just buy the tester. Um, the package I got came with three wands. It actually came with the small, large, large, and bullion wand, um, and I'll get into more of those here in a, here in a second. Um, they also, it also comes with a, it has a rechargeable battery, so it also comes with a plug-in, so you can recharge it, and it comes with the package I had comes with this nifty little uh, carrying case, which is kind of nice. So let's get right into it and see what I think about it. First up, um, how you turn it on goes like that. And uh, so yeah, you just press run start. Okay, and from here you get to pick what kind of metals you want. It actually does um, 999 plus pure gold. It does, uh, well, you guys can see what it does. So it actually has a few, uh, quite a few different uh, settings, but obviously the one I'm gonna use is silver. And on silver it has four nines fine, three nines fine, sterling, 90, now this is what I found interesting, 90% US pre-1900, then it has pre-1945, and then it has uh, 1960 coin. Then Britannia's, 80% Canadian, and that's as far down as it goes. So it's not going to measure your 40% silver, guys, or your war nickels, um, just to let you know. But I looked in their catalog on why there's a difference between the 1900 and the 45 and then the 60. And, and apparently, the older it is, um, it had more um, uh, allo issues with their alloys, or alloys weren't exact. Um, so it has a little more uh, variation in what it is. And now what this does, it actually measures the electromagnetic um, of the coin. So it will not work on any coins that are actually magnetic. So if you try to put something on there and it's magnetic, it just won't give you a reading at all. So if you guys are using one of these and you come up with that, then uh, yeah, that's the, that's the problem. So let's get back to the, the 999 Pure Silver. Um, it comes with these wands, like I said. So, actually, I want to use the big sensor. So, you can hit the sensor uh, right down here, sensor selector. I think. Oh, I have to press the run count first to pick the thing. There we go. Now, I'm changing the sensor. Okay. So, what you do is you actually just put the coin on, so a 999 coin. And it's funny, actually, this is an old, I got this a long time ago. This might have been my first piece of silver, but I thought it was fake for the longest time. Um, it's just a junky, just a junky uh, um, silver round, buffalo round. And, oops, I have to hit run calc again since I changed the thing to, for it to set up. And there we go. So put it there and it actually is 999 fine silver, guys. I, that just blew my mind. This thing measures quickly. As soon as it's on there, it measures. So let's try a few more other things. So I got my privateer around. This is how it's been toning up. Still been uh, leaving this out on my desk. And this is something I found out is that, see? Like, wait a minute. That's not, not, that's not 999 silver. Well, this thing is such high relief. If you actually read the in it, it'll actually tell you it has hard times with the high relief. So you have to kind of find like a flat spot, like right there. And it'll actually read it properly or you can use um like the small wand the small wand and put it on a flat spot and it, it'll actually help with that as well i did find however though that um well let's go to this you'll find interesting um if you go to 999 pure 
So yeah, guys, this is the the nine the four nines fine silver, and either a lot of things are made by four, actually with four nine silver. As you can see, my Scottsdale is actually testing at four nine silver, my Scottsdale bar, um, or that it's just not precise enough to uh, measure that last point zero 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 nine percent, which is such a small measurement that um, I can understand it. That's kind of crazy. So like even my ATB coin right here. And that's the nice thing, guys. This thing actually measures through capsules. You don't have to take it out. Now this, I noticed that the small, the small wand will not measure through any capsules. It has to be touching it. And this thing will actually measure through slab coins. And it's saying that's not 999 fine. Let's put it on the the 999 pure of three nines fine. Ready to place sample. And it's three nines fine. So yeah, I don't know if it's just not precise enough or that more things are made with four nines fine than we realize. Kind of crazy. But um it also measures, this is what I got from Pit Bullion. This is actually has 24 karat um, gold gilded. As you can see, it actually is still showing up as 999 fine. Now I know this is, that's another thing I noticed is actually this will either show up as that amount of pure or actually to the right of it. Cause this is actually four nines fine. So let's go back to that and see if this uh, shows up as four nines fine. Absolutely does. So it actually will go through the plastic and go through any um, thin layers to get to the the meat of the, the the coin or the bar for the measurements, which is very very nice. That's why it's really good at detecting uh, detecting fakes. So and just so you know, I'm not going to show you guys, but I did test this to see if it would come up as uh, 24 karat gold, and it absolutely did not. It said, uh uh, I don't think so. So let's get to the the 90 percent. And this is another reason why, um, where's my 90%? Here we go, I have my uh, walk in Liberty. As you can see, pre-1945, uh, it's actually a 1946 walking Liberty, but I read in the manual, it says walk, all walking Liberties will show up as uh, the pre-45 because of the alloys that are in it. Now let's try 1965 dime, or 1964 dime, sorry. And one thing I noticed about as you can see, it's actually out, but either way, it's actually out because the smaller coins, this thing cannot read on um, the larger one. That's why you need the wand. So you just go to the sensor, select, run calc again. Okay, and it says place sample. And let's see what this says. So yes, it will read the older stuff that it is within that uh, category. So I don't know why. Well, I do know why. So let's go, let's try the... 1960 coin run calc on that place sample you'll see that is placed in there but if i try to use my uh my walking liberty you're gonna see that it's actually out it knows it's not a 1960 coin or higher kind of crazy kind of crazy that it's still night it's still 90 percent silver but the other metals that are in them are have a little bit different makeup so so that's kind of crazy that i noticed um so let's get to the canadian finally 80 percent um let's put it back on the main the main sensor oops start okay and i have an 80 percent quarter right here and there we go it's good like i said i noticed that if you, if it's a little bit higher um if it's a higher purity it actually will still be in those bands like that's 90 percent silver and let's see if 999 yeah 999 is way out it's out of the bands but it's like higher so and we can try to fool this like here's a this is a 50 percent uh silver to crown 1935 crown that i actually got from cct and let's see what that says See, it's definitely uh, definitely not 80% silver. But yeah, so um, there we go, guys. My thought, my the good thoughts are that I have, I, I like how it can actually measure, measure, you know, things in the slabs. I like how it can measure 
through the thing through the um the plastic capsules and everything like that so i mainly got this you know to test out all my poured silver and things like that i will be doing that video um in the next couple days when i get it out i'm gonna pull out pretty much all the different um names of companies that i uh i have bought from and just check them out you know i know there's a lot of people that say how do you know that that's it's real silver well i do this specific gravity test but a lot of people don't I guess that's not good enough for them. So I wanted to pick up this, um, the electro, uh, they, where it uses electromagnetism, be more precise. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And onto these other wands, you know, this, this small wand won't go through the plastic. The large wand will, um, it'll go through the plastic. And then this bullion one, it actually will go down, um, two millimeters through the metal. So it's further into the um, further into the the uh, the the bar or the coin, but that, just to get a package with this bullion one, I think it's like seventy five dollars more, and I bought it, and I'm really not seeing a whole lot of um, reasons why you would need one that it's worth it. I mean, this main sensor right here is going to cover almost all your needs. Um, Unless it's like a hundred ounce bar or something like that, but then you can still use the large one and that still penetrates quite a bit. Um, not sh quite sure for 75 additional dollars, which is quite a bit that you really need this bullion round. But all right, guys, like I said, I just wanted to share that with you. I finally got one of these. It cost me about 750 bucks. I purchased it on eBay. I'm going to put it to good use and um, I will be, uh, like I said, pulling out all the poured silver I've bought throughout the years and and testing it on camera with you guys to see if uh, if uh, if they match up to the 999 silver it's supposed to be. All right guys, please like, comment, subscribe and I should have that video for you guys in the next uh, day or two. Thanks for watching.